Okay, so I really don't do these types of things, mostly because I don't like to try and flash anything but so much anymore. Like, even my fact as a page has kind of gone down. Oh, it's a ghost spider, by the way. Um, so, I got requested in order to do an unboxing of this thing. <sighs> this is the, as you can see, Ellie edition of The Last of Us 2. I managed to get hands on this because it randomly came into one of the stores I frequent. And... I was able to return my copy that was the collector's edition and be able to get this one. Now, the differences between the two are kind of minor, but those minor differences, quote-unquote, are actually really important. So, we'll go ahead and try and get this thing going first. So, you may notice I had to kind of do this in segments because I don't have anybody else to help me open the box, nor do I have, like, a tripod in order to put my camera on. If it would stop freaking out, that'd be great. Thank you very much. I'm using my phone camera because, well... I need to get a legitimate camera. Anyway, this is the opening of the box. Standard stuff. Your still book case right here. Your art book here. Do, do, do. Yeah. Not really going to go into that because, of course, you know, spoilers, even though the game's been out for like two, three weeks now. So, under here, you have the pins, the stickers that you would typically get with a Naughty Dog title. They've been doing this since the Uncharted games on the PlayStation 3. Ellie's bracelet. And a bunch of pins for the game. This is also in the collector's edition memory serves. So over here is where things start to get a little bit different. Because this right here is, if I remember, we'll try to open it properly. Here we are. This is one of the things that I actually really wanted this for. This is the 7 inch vinyl, that, well, not even 7 inch vinyl. Like, it's a small vinyl that you get along with it. You get a digital copy of the soundtrack inside of the box over there, but you also get this, which has the um, the A side and B side by Gustavo Santolala, <laughs> which I probably pronounced that wrong, and I apologize. You also get the Last of Us <clears throat> pen, not pen. Ooh, you also get a item there, which I'm entirely butchering the name of because I can't remember it for whatever reason. You put it on patch. There we go. You put it on. It's a patch. All right. And then there's this. You may be asking, what is this? Why does this matter? This is the main reason why people want this edition. It's also the reason why this thing is going for way more than it actually should online. Just here. Ignore the dodgy camera work. This is... Ellie's book bag from the game. And I am going to commit sacrilege and open it. It definitely has a new book bag smell. So, it's a pretty standard, like, Jansport-like book bag. Like, faux, faux leather around these places, like suede more so. But more importantly, you actually get the pins that Ellie has in the game. I can't really go into the details on this one, but you'll see that sequence when you get to it, and the ones you start off with. Not a particularly bad bag. Feels pretty solid overall. Kind of small, but, you know, it's not bad. And then finally you have the statue. Yeah, it came out of that giant box there. Ellie playing the guitar, as you'll see a couple different times inside the game. Covered in blood. Like, Moreau's face. semi cowlick <laughs> But overall, like, details are really nice. Got the Converse's right. Just without the branding, of course. No actually has the Converse branding. Excuse me. They paid for that. Pretty solid detail. Machete side weapon. The bow. Or the arrows. Not bow. That'd be dumb. Um, and very well painted. Not really too much smudging. The face is... A little suspect, but overall not bad. Definitely one of those things where in which like I was just by chance able to get my hands on it, so I figured why not. And people were asking me in order to do an unboxing. Ghost, don't you care about the resale value of that bag over there that you opened and savagely did so as well? No, not really. I just <laughs> most of the stuff I end up getting I want to keep anyway, so it's not really a factor to me in order to be able to Keep the resale value of a lot of these things. 
but uh yeah so that's um that's an unboxing video uh i'll probably do i might do more of these in the future if people actually like them we'll see but until then uh i'm ghost and that's game